I'm Harris Faulkner. This is the Fox Report. It's the bottom of the hour. And if you are just joining us, former Defense Secretary Robert Gates giving his first television interview since excerpts from his new memoir went public that tell all sending shockwaves throughout Washington with sharp criticism of the president and vice president. The memoir also discloses private conversations on some very sensitive issues. Let's bring in our Fox News political insiders and you can join the conversation on Twitter at FN Insiders and at Harris Faulkner, hashtag Fox Report Weekend. John Leboutlier, former Republican congressman for New York, Pat Cadell, former pollster for President Jimmy Carter and Fox News contributor in the middle, and Doug Schoen, former pollster for President Bill Clinton and a former and a Fox News contributor as well. Gentlemen, we have all of you together yes. with the holidays. We got one, we got the other. The three are back. Are. And your your Twitter following is is tweeting like fools. Uh, let's start with former Secretary Gates' book. And I tweeted out earlier, is it too much information now? The timing of this book, Doug, your thoughts? Well, I think it is information that had to get out. And I think he waited, his publishers waited, till there was a lull in the political season. And it's been a firestorm. The thing that made an impression on me, Harris, is somebody who advised the president in the White House, there was a strict demarcation between politics and government and especially foreign policy. And in this instance, it looks to me like political aides have been making foreign policy yeah. in unprecedented ways. And I, and I echo that because I was in the middle of a major, we were in the middle of the Carter administration, in the middle of the hostage crisis. You know, uh, the, the, the lack of what political aides are allowed to do or supposed to, they seem to be inundated. We have Gates. By the way, one of the revelations that, was, that has not really gotten a lot of attention yet is not only the White House political aides, but national security staff, all of the leaks that were coming out, his attack, he called uh, Tom Donlan, who I've taken on before about being the chief leaker, as uh, having a poison atmosphere. Mm -hmm. They were calling four-star generals, people who've never had uniforms. It is unbelievable how political this was. John, uh, you know, as this book comes out, you, you've got one half of, of people saying, well, well, maybe it's not one half, but certain people saying, oh, it's a good idea to have all this information. It's not a good idea. It, it could put us in jeopardy somehow. How yeah. so? Well, because, uh, first of all, the idea of political people involving themselves in national security for issues political reasons. for political reasons is really the corruption of the system. You'd never had it before. Henry Kissinger, I don't like him, but the guy ran foreign policy. He's not over in campaign meetings deciding campaign strategy. You can't, there's a wall between it until this administration. So you think this is something that the American people should know? It is. And also, Harris, the American people should know that President Obama himself and Secretary Clinton both acknowledged to Secretary Gates that politics had had an impact on their decisions about the war in Iraq and how to prosecute it. That's very sad. I hope as we go forward that doesn't happen again. I, I want to put some words up on the screen from the interview uh, with Robert Gates. One quality I missed in Obama was passion, especially when it came to the two wars. In my presence, Bush, very unlike his father, was pretty unsentimental. But he was passionate about the war in Iraq on occasion at a Medal of Honor ceremony or the like. I would see his eyes well up. I worked for Obama longer than Bush, and I never saw his eyes well up, end quote. Your thoughts, Pat? Well, I, I think it explains the president's very relatively distant, particularly when it comes to the military. These are not his, but he didn't want these wars. But there is an anti-military bias in the White House. I think that reflects the president. It's not his, it's not a passion. I, I think he supports the troops. But I thought that is a devastating comment to say even in private that you never saw the president emotionally involved when, you're, when people on his command at his are, are out dying for you, for the country. You know, one of the troubling things for some people, though, John, is the fact that this could actually hurt the morale of our troops if they find this sort of thing out. Right. Well, I think there is a legitimate question of whether this book should come out at all, whether a guy who's just been in there, who received the Presidential Medal of Honor. Freedom. Medal of Freedom, excuse me, should, should be ratting out the people he worked with and revealing well, all this. Well, let me just say, Pat, because we're political insiders. Right. Politically, I think this thing hurts the Democrats, hurts the feeling in America towards politics in general. Like, ah, God, they're all dirty. Then you add in the Chris Christie thing, which we're going to talk about. No wonder. So many people hmm. now say, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. I'm an independent. I don't like any of it. 
Can I, you know what, why didn't Gates resign? What, when is someone going to resign over principle the way Cy Vance did? Well, he no did leave. Had, but he didn't resign, and he, he didn't, didn't say, I'm leaving because I'm disgusted I, with this behavior. Instead, he waited and right. wrote a book. All right, let me play devil's advocate for a second. Maybe he knew he was going to write a book. You know, in the interview well, today. Well, that's not heroic. In the interview today, I don't know that, but I'm just saying maybe. In the interview today, he was asked, well, did you ever think that you might have a government job down the line? He and his wife made eye contact on a two-shot, and he said, well, no, that's why I wrote the book now. I can say what I want. Uh, yeah. You know, my, my problem with this guy is it, throughout the excerpts, we have, none of us have read the whole book, obviously. Not yet. He is crying and sniveling. I hate the job. I go home. I have a drink. I go to bed. I get up. I hate the job. I hate the job. We don't need people in these jobs who hate the job. We need people who want to do well, it and do it well. And I think it's self-serving to make it Did he on. hate the job, though, because of what was going on around well, him? And that's he, what he, he says. He might though. have. But you know what, Harris? The job of the defense secretary is to make policy, lead the country, and do what is right, reasonable, and responsible. There's an element of griping here. John, you're absolutely right. This does degrade, in a certain sense, our party system, our political system. But ultimately, we have to take away something positive, which is you can be bipartisan, you can put the country first, and right now what's going on doesn't do either. And, uh, all right, James either. Roach on Twitter says, Gates released the book to save soldiers from a commander-in-chief who does not care about the military. I've served 20 years. Again, I just speak to the morale of those who actually have served the country. And That's whether right. or not they want to know, and, and this information is, is really for uh, and about them in some instances. Well, I always think you have to weigh, these people in office have to weigh between what their obligations and responsibilities, Doug said, and what their obligations are sometimes whether when it's gone too far to leave on principle. No one leaves government because no one leaves politics on principle. Everybody's in this game. The country believes this. They're in it to feather their own nest. Gates wants to write a book. Other people want political power, whatever. We seem to have lost the idea of politics as something where you owe the country first. And, well, in the meantime, and, we have all this information coming out. I want to move on now 